Neurofibromatosis plexiform tumors, who should take those out? That's a question that I sometimes will get. And the rationale for having removal of one of these tumors, which can be quite complex, is, is that if it's creating some symptoms, symptoms such as pain or it's very much enlarged, those of you living with something like this know what I'm talking about. If it's very disfiguring, you want something like that dealt with. Not all plexiform tumors are created the same. And also anatomically speaking, Tumors located over the face, for example, are much more different than those located over the extremities in terms of considerations for removal. When you're looking for someone to remove something like this, you can't just go to any type of surgeon for something like this. Usually it ends up being a plastic surgeon. More importantly, it's someone who's familiar with the removal of plexiform neurofibromas. Being able to remove a plexiform neurofibroma requires a knowledge of what these tumors do during the process of removal. And in terms of how, how much do you remove? What are the considerations for blood supply? How much bleeding is encountered? All of these things matter in terms of not only the success of the uh, plexiform tumor removal, but also for the health of the patient. You don't want a complication. And whether it's during surgery or afterwards. So it's very important to understand that these plexiform tumors, as much as we would like for pretty much all surgeons to deal with these things and take them off locally, the reality is, is that these are not easy to remove. They do require a certain different set of thinking involved whenever you try to remove these. And it's not always trainable. It's, it's something that comes from experience. Oftentimes we'll get patients in here who have had one or two or three attempts at removal of a plexiform neurofibroma. And the story is pretty common where they just basically started doing the surgery and then they pretty quickly had to close everything up because there was just too much bleeding involved, uh, bleeding that was unanticipated, requiring blood transfusions, um, and maybe sometimes life-threatening. So these are unacceptable and thankfully avoidable problems. Uh, when they're taken correctly. I have a whole nother discussion on how to sort of manage that moving forward. How do you think about removal of plexiform tumors as a surgeon? It's a very valuable lesson for those who are trying to go into the world of neurofibromatosis to help a lot of our patients. And I can sort of talk about that in a future post.